Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking another look at Dreadnought. We're going to be doing a first look on the full Gora. So once again, just to refresh you guys, this is a very brand new ship to me. Something I've never seen flown whatever before. And this is the very first look. Uh, so starting out, we've got the dual repeaters, the beam turrets, blink warp, drain torpedo, disruptor pulse, auto repair, and then our officer briefings, which I do in fact need to change, but there's not a whole bunch I can do until I get the uh, officer briefing from the Machias, which we will revisit. Let's take a quick look at that tech tree. Get the career progression out of the way. So what it can pick up is extra, uh, more powerful beam turrets, blink warp, light cloak, rust amplifier, kinetic amp, uh, better drained torpedo, Heavy Torpedo, Weapon Breaker Torpedo, Disruptor Pulse, Auto Guns, uh, Anti-Missile Pulse, Auto Repair, Afterburner, and when you're done with all that, you can pick up the Vindicta and the Medusa. So, you've only got to get eight modules to pick up a Vindicta, and you've got to pick up all 12 to get the Medusa. So anyway, uh, enough of that. Let's uh, go ahead and hop into a match. Here we go, on Ixion. And you'll remember from when we were flying with the Machias, and I think I maybe did something on the Dover, but definitely on the Machias, that our primary focus here is taking out the enemy tactical cruisers and artillery. Anything else is a bit beyond what we're supposed to be working on. We are too small and too light to deal with any of the heavy guns. We can harass folks like the uh, destroyers. That's not uh, too terribly difficult. If they'll pay attention. If they don't pay attention, then they are prime targets. Yeah, I always talk about that situational awareness. If you don't have it, you will get wrecked. And it's usually by somebody like us over here in the uh, Fulgora. Come on, just one more shot, one more shot. Boom, get out of here. Auto repair, get out of the way. Oh no, my thrusters are jammed. I'm in trouble. Help, 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 help. Oh, no. That said, I did take out their tactical cruiser. That is a very good thing to have done. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, it was healing, I think, a dreadnought. And also, it, was, uh, it had the auto repair beams out, healing like three other ships. Okay, and something to not forget. Blink Warp, almost totally free. Quick reset. Don't worry about saving it. And energy. If you're not using it, generally speaking, it's being wasted. Okay, so I don't know if you caught what I did over there, but uh, well, I mean, other than almost getting completely wrecked, uh, I drained that guy and then I disrupted him. Okay, I love the range of shot on this thing. Okay, and it also does not back up like at all. I am loving the punch that this this gun has. Why is nobody paying attention to me? That is like the fastest way to die. 
not being situationally aware. Get that auto repair rolling. Boom. Okay, back up and going. So, compared to the Machias, I definitely enjoy this a lot more. So in hindsight, that Drain Torpedo is going to be great up against your uh, Dreadnoughts and stuff. So if you've got a Dreadnought camping out front line, tons of energy, take him out. You will thank me later. Guns on this just absolutely wreck. Oh, man. And, once again, situational awareness killed me. The enemy didn't kill me. Situational awareness killed me. Okay, I see a couple of things I need to work on, and mostly the tactical cruiser. Now, I don't off the top of my head, remember the range on this sucker. But I need to uh, warp in. Okay, he's regening a lot of power. And he is just taking that punishment. And, yeah, poor planning on my part killed me there. Uh, I did make an opening for my team, but they weren't able to take it because of the placement of that ship. So anyway, overall, enjoy the ship. Uh, I will be playing some more in it later. Uh, it is still probably not going to be my primary. I don't like it as much as I do the Jutland. I don't like it as much as I do the Otranto, but it is still a solid ship, and I definitely like it more than the Machias. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, that's going to do it for us here today. Um, hopefully I'll be taking another look at the ship here in the near future as I get a better feel for it and find its you know place in the world. But it definitely packs more punch than the other ship in, in that class due to the range of the guns, how they can swivel. And I feel like it does more damage. I don't actually know, but it feels like it does a lot more damage. But anyway, uh, before I ramble on too long, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Give me a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Uh, leave me a comment if your feelings are more complex than that. And subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.